our way to the Harmony Garden, we followed the curving path of Yoshino cherry trees near the palm house, and there was a really striking contrast between the frothy, transient clouds of blossom and the very solid presence of the 20 substantial holly roundels that punctuate the pathway. This juxtaposition between evergreen permanence and the seasonal transience of blossom creates a fitting frame of mind to explore the Harmony Garden and the Trokshimon Gateway. The intricately carved gateway tells a legend of the transience of opportunity and the permanence of reward, which like all great stories involves a dragon, while around the Harmony Garden the permanence and solidity of stone contrast with seasonal transience of flowers and blossom. The Chokshimon, or Gateway of the Imperial Messenger, sits magisterially on the top of the mount where it was installed in 1910, following proud display at the Anglo-Japanese Exhibition in London. This exhibition was a cultural and economic promotion of Japanese crafts and tradition, and an expression of the successful political alliance of 1902 between Britain and Japan. The British monarch King George V was presented with the Chokshimon Gate, which was selected as an exquisite example of the elegantly curved Japanese gable style called Karahafu. The king instructed that the Chokshimon should be permanently located at the Royal Botanical Gardens Kew, where Japanese craftsmen expertly re-erected it. At that time, the current Japanese landscaping had not been created and the gate overlooked a gently sloping lawn with hydrangeas shaded by cedars. Edwardian visitors to the popular Kew Gardens could now admire the lavish decorative carvings that covered the gables, corbels and screens of the gateway and which were, according to the Journal of the Kew Guild, completed over a 45-day period by a celebrated woodcarver from Kyoto. Amongst the many plants, animals and mythological creatures carved on the gate, you may have noticed a dragon or two and a tiger in bamboo, which are fitting characters for a reason that certainly wasn't obvious at the time. In 1881, the king, then a teenager serving in the navy, was granted shore leave in Japan to meet their majesties Emperor Meiji and Empress Shogun. During his visit to Tokyo, the future King George had a red and blue dragon tattooed on one arm and later in Kyoto had a tiger inking added to the other arm. Despite the fact that tattoos were officially outlawed in Japanese society at the time, it was not unusual for overseas visitors to seek out the unique skills of Japanese tattoo artists. The Chokshimon is a near replica, scaled to four-fifths in size of the famous Karamon Gate at the west entrance of the Buddhist temple of Nishi Honganji in Kyoto. The Karamon is believed to have been built in the 16th century and like the Chokshimon, is constructed from close-grained hinoki wood, traditionally a sacred tree. The Karamon is beautifully and colourfully painted using traditional natural pigments which celebrate and highlight the intricate decorations. The Karamon is a Japanese national treasure and highly valued as a glorious example of the architecture and artistry of Momoyama culture. Either side of the central doors, carved panels depict an ancient Chinese legend about Korsakiko, a semi-mythological hermit of great wisdom, and Chojo, who was a Chinese military strategist and politician. There are different versions of the story, but here's the one we were told by a knowledgeable guide at Kew. In a dream, Chojo sees an elderly and intriguingly dignified man on horseback crossing a bridge over the river way. Chojo obediently retrieves the man's shoe when the stranger purposefully drops it onto the bridge. 
respectfully sliding it back onto its owner's foot. The mysterious stranger tells Chojo to return and meet him at the bridge at daybreak five days later. On waking, Chojo recalls the dream and does indeed return to the real life bridge as instructed. But it is further than he had anticipated and the elderly man is already there, scolding him for such late arrival. Chojo is given the opportunity to return in another five days and sensing that his resolve is being tested, arrives at the bridge at midnight and waits until the elderly man appears at dawn. You might think it's a case of the early bird catching the worm, but there is a final and dangerous test of courage to come. The elderly man drops his shoe into the river for Chojo to retrieve, and this involves battling and overcoming a dragon in the water. The celebratory and triumphant spirit of the carving on both the Chokshimon and Karamon panels show Chojo standing on the head of the defeated dragon, holding the retrieved shoe aloft. The dragon ultimately turns out to be a deity who will henceforth watch over and protect him. The elderly man is Korsukiko, who presents Chojo with a manuscript revealing the secret principles of military strategy. Chojo goes on to become an accomplished imperial advisor and strategist, armed with this new military understanding and a sense of his own capabilities and resolve, as well as the knowledge that appearances can be transient and opportunities can arise unexpectedly. The Harmony Garden is part of the Japanese landscape created in 1996 around the Chokshimon Gate. It links the Peace Garden, based on a traditional tea garden, to the Garden of Activity which evokes a thoughtfully composed Zen rock garden. Each landscape has its own unique atmosphere and beauty. The Harmony Garden has elements of a Japanese strolling garden providing a sequence of views and a series of different perceptual experiences. 